Hello, in this video I'm going to show you a few strategies for dealing with the situation where you turn on your computer and all you get is a black screen and your little mouse, right? So um, the first thing you want to do is press Control alt delete So you're going to hold down the Control and Alt keys together and then tap on the delete. Then you can release Control and Alt, right? And it should bring up the following little screen here. So uh, the first thing you should know, uh, the easiest fix, sometimes works, is just from here, restart your machine. So you click and restart, right? Sometimes that's all that's required. You know, there's a, a weird update gets sort of tripping over itself and the first boot after the update is not going to work and then the second will. You know, that, I don't know, 10% of the time, that's your fix, okay? Um, the other thing you can try is uh, hitting Task Manager, okay? And if you if you see it like this, with very minimal kind of information, click on More Details, all right? And then you'll have this greater detail here. Um, now, from here, uh, what's really missing in the background is Explorer.exe isn't running or it's failing, right? Let's see if we can see it in here. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I actually have Windows Explorer running here. I'm I'm kind of spoofing this. It's this computer doesn't actually have a problem. I'm just hiding the taskbar and blanking everything out so I can show you these things. So um, if you do see uh, Windows Explorer here, uh, you may want to end that task, right? And then re well, you could just go ahead and try restarting it. So I was going to say end it and then start it again, but. Um, you might want to try restarting it, and that might fix your issue, right? Because it's Windows Explorer, that's the shell for Windows, and and that will display your taskbar, your desktop, etc., right? The other way, if it, you don't even see it in the list, uh, you can click on File, and then say Run New Task, okay? And then type in, as you see here, explorer.exe, and then click OK. Right? So um, you may get this window up here, but you may also get your taskbar, your start button, your desktop, and everything may just appear. Right, And then you know you have access to things. You can start working and troubleshooting, running antivirus and everything. At least you have access. Right, So, so that's the other thing. And the other, uh, another thing to think about here is that you can run anything from here. Right. So say you have uh, malware bytes, anti-malware. Right. You can browse for that. You can click on browse, and then you know move this up to the corner, pull the right corner down, so we have a bit more room to view things. Usually, drive C is your system drive. Um, I'm not sure if I even have malware bytes on here, to be honest. But uh, whatever it is, Nor uh, Norton antivirus, whatever you have as an antivirus. Um, here we have Windows Defender. Uh, go and find the EXE for that, and uh, you can run a scan, right? Maybe that's your issue. Uh, other things uh, that you can do is get open a command prompt, you know, CMD, and click OK, and then that gives you a way to run certain um, certain commands like uh, scan. Uh, is it, uh, SFC slash scan now. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've buggered that name. But anyway, uh, let me look that up one sec. Sorry, my bad. So it's just SFC slash scan now, right? And then hit enter. And then this will go through and check all of your system files. And if there's any, any corruption, uh, it will fix it, right? So um, this kind of verification of your system could be just what's needed uh, to get things back up and running, you know? Run this reboot and then you're good to go. So let's talk about a few other options, right? So if we go into, you know, Control-Alt-Delete again, if you go down to your power button in the lower right hand corner click on the power button and then hold down your shift key on your keyboard and then click on restart 
Okay, and th what this will do is it'll bring up a sort of a start menu that's going to give you a whole bunch of options for troubleshooting. So we'll just wait for those to come up. Okay, so here is the uh, initial level of the menu options that you get when you shift restart. All right, so first option is just continue to Windows 10, right, which is not quite why we're here, although that, that may work for you, but that, that's not doing any troubleshooting, right? So, uh, of course, the second one is troubleshooting, so let's click on that. Now, reset this PC, this PC is an option. Uh, it's a drastic option, right? So you can keep your personal files and everything. This is going to wipe out all the other things that you've installed, right? So uh, you may consider that, but I wouldn't jump there right away. First, I would go to advanced options, all right? So the most obvious thing here to run, and they put it first for good reason, is startup repair. So your computer's booting up to a black screen. All you have is a little cursor. Run startup repair, and it will go through and check and, and see if there's anything obvious that it can fix, and uh, that repair may just solve your whole problem. All right? um, if you're really nerdy, uh, you can open up a command prompt um, and you know run, run different commands to try and fix your system. Um, Another very interesting one that often helps is uninstall updates. If we click on that, we get a couple of options here. Uninstall the latest quality update or uninstall the latest feature update, right? First try the quality update. If that doesn't work, try uninstalling the latest feature update, right? And uh, that may be what's needed because sometimes the new latest updates aren't compatible with your system and you need to wait a while, let Microsoft fix issues and put updates to their updates before you try bringing that stuff in again. Um, there's system restore, okay? I don't have restore points on this system, so uh, there's no point in my jumping in there to show you, but uh, if you click on that, the system will reboot. Uh, it will ask you for a, uh, it'll, you'll have to choose your username and, you, and put in your password if you have one, right? So it's gonna ask for authorization. You're, it's going to log you in to the point where system restore window will come up and you'll be able to choose a restore point. So if you know your computer was working last Wednesday and there's a, a restore, for, restore point for last Wednesday, choose that and let it do its thing. And, and that's actually a really powerful way to roll back and, and get things as they were. And don't worry about losing data, uh, system restore, it's not supposed to delete any personal data. Um, I imagine there's some rare way that that might happen, but if you've got your data in your documents folders, your picture folders, you know, desktop, normal places like that, it's not going to touch it. Okay. So uh, if you are lucky enough to have a system image recovery uh, file disk thing, you know, go ahead and jump in there. But I'm assuming if you're here, you don't, or you'd already know about those things. Um, so, uh, and then here we have startup settings, okay, and uh, you may need to jump into safe mode. You may be able to jump into safe mode. You may not, but if you can, you can jump into safe mode and do some troubleshooting. So let me show you what that works, how that works. So we're going to click restart. I'll have to wait a moment while it thinks. Okay, so safe mode is just nothing but Windows, the very basic stuff, right? Safe mode with networking is all the basic stuff, plus it will let you online. That's probably your best choice because you may want to run some, uh, you know, an antivirus or something that you have on your system and it may want to pull in the latest definitions. So generally speaking, I would recommend safe mode with networking. Safe mode with command prompt is like, you don't get all your windows and icons and everything, you get the command prompt up. So it's a bit of a nerd area, right? And there's other options here that uh, for most people wouldn't be generally as useful, you can try them. Um, the first two are just um, sort of dev options, but uh, enable low resolution video. If it is a video issue that you're having, uh, that may solve your problem. Or, or at least get you to a point where you can see your stuff, right? It wouldn't necessarily solve the problem, but it could get you access to your computer. Um, but, um, you know, 
this is a good place to go to try to get at least to your data. You need to open a file. You can go in a safe mode. You, you probably can open that file and check it, right? It, review your emails or something. Um, email, of course, open, go safe mode with networking. You might be able to actually receive new emails. Uh, but anyway, there, uh, hopefully, among all the handfuls of options that I have shown you uh, is a solution to your problem. If none of these help, um, well, God bless you. I hope you figure it out. Thanks for watching.